Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's find out how to make a floating circle frame. All right, there's many different ways to do this. I'm going to show you two, an easy way and another way which involves downloading a free set of a bunch of uh, effects off of our website. It was created in a rectangle, but you can easily convert the mask or draw a new mask um, as a circle. But let me show you the example here. And you can see this woman in the corner, she's in a floating frame, she's got a nice white border and a drop shadow on here. Here's the other example. And this particular one, as I said, uses a ton of effects, all of these effects. Many of them are not accelerated. You get a red line, which means it might be hard to play. In this example here, it plays back very smooth, just like that. So let's go to our new timeline and start. So the first thing I've got is just a background of a bunch of clips. Now I'm going to bring in uh, a circle and another clip. And you do this in the essential graphics. Uh, about two versions ago, Adobe made a huge update to the essential graphics that will allow you to do this in just a couple of steps. So first thing is draw a circle. So on the left, click and hold, find your ellipse tool and drag a circle. Start dragging and then add the shift key, the size you want. I'm just going to tap the V key to grab the selection. And it's, it's, I think it's just easier to start with it in the middle and we go to our central graphics. You could align that right to the center. And there it is. Our shape shows up on the top. Now here's the video we're going to use and I'm going to drag it in this location. So I'm not dragging it to the timeline. I'm dragging it up here underneath shape. And you can see that it's hidden by that shape. I'll click on the uh, shape and a little bit lower, it doesn't matter what color this is, you'll notice this button mask with shape. And when I click on that, it masks the video or anything else in that layer with the shape. I'll select the video and change the scale just to position it the way I want. If I want, I can come into the, the program monitor and place it like that. And if that's all you want, it's done. It's a little easier than working with masks and things like that. Now to put it in the bottom corner, you might think you just grab it and put it in the bottom corner. You don't. Go to the effects controls, and at the top, you'll see vector motion. Anytime you're working with essential graphics, vector motion is available. And here you can just drag over the number and pop it in that corner. You can still go back to the essential graphics and make any changes you want here. And the one change I want is I'm gonna go back to selecting the shape and down in the bottom and choose mask only fill. And I'll show you why. If I click on mask only fill, you don't see a change here, but now I can add a stroke and I can make the stroke larger and I can even pick a color. So let me pick a color in here, one of these orange colors. If this is not turned on, then you won't see the stroke. Mask only fill will only mask what the fill of the shape is. So here's the fill, the stroke is above that. It simply means don't mask anything outside of the fill. So we've got that working perfectly. So there it is. The default size for a graphic is five seconds. So we can drag that to the beginning and drag that out. You can drag it past the end and you'll know that you're past the end when the video stops playing. So you can see I'm, I'm dragging and it stops playing at this point. That's the one, only one odd thing about using the essential graphics is uh, you don't know where the end of your, your clip is. The other one is sound is not part of essential graphics. It's graphics only. So I would have to select the same um, video, turn off the V1 and just turn on A1, that's the audio, 
and drag that down. And now I would have to line that up. But as I showed you over here, the final result looks pretty good. Hi, and all everyone. the audio is lined up. How are you? Sure miss you so much. You could also go back to the effects controls, go back to vector motion, and you could scale this up or down. And it looks good regardless. So you could go to the beginning, just past the beginning here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Say right about there. Add a scale keyframe. Go back to the beginning and then change the scale to zero. So now we actually have it popping up instead of being there all the time. So you can do that way, or you can do this way here. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description to download this. And for this, once you look, open everything up, you need to uh, create in the set mat, you need to create a circular, um, an elliptical mask, and, and this is for the, the white. And then set mat second, you need to create another one. And this is for the complete frame here. So it requires a little noodling around. Again, it's, it's not accelerated, so it might be slow. The only benefit to this is you already have audio and video in the timeline. You can apply this as a preset. Like I said, I'll put that link in the description where you can download this and drop it in. So there you go. If you want to use the essential graphics or the preset, whatever way you want, uh, both ways work. I like using the essential graphics. It's a lightweight, quick and easy way um, and easy to recolor things and, and work with that and use essential, uh, use vector motion to animate that if you want. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you have found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that on videoreveal.com slash shop, like all of our wonderful donors. Thank you so much. You can donate once, monthly, any amount, any donation gets you to the member section. There's a whole spreadsheet of every single episode I've ever done. It's much easier to search than um, YouTube's horrible searching. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep my ears open to what people want to do in video and show you maybe one, maybe two, maybe more easy ways for you to achieve your effect.